Hi, this is Kirk O'Connor and welcome to another one of our WordPress videos where we give you some hints and tips and hints on how to use WordPress and more importantly how to use WordPress to help your site visitors present your content and to get some results from your website. So what we're going to talk about today is a neat little plugin we found called Global Content Blocks. And what Global Content Blocks do is they save you a lot of time and effort and allow you to add things throughout your site in various areas that can be repeated with very little effort on your behalf once you've added them a single time. So if you have something let's say like an advertisement, an opt-in, or uh, some content of value, you're able to add that in various places um, with the click of a mouse or two in various places on your website. So let's go and have a look how we do that. So we're on our test site here and we're going to move into admin and the plugin we're using is one called Global Content Blocks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a form in one of these global content blocks and I'm going to show you how we put that global content block in various places around our website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our global content block and we've uploaded the plugin and we've activated it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and down here to global content blocks. Click that and okay here's our screen and this allows us to add some global content blocks so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new global content block so let's click the add a new content block and we're going to do something really really simple first you see here we can have a name so we're going to call this our opt-in form the name actually doesn't matter that much, it's more for your reference. So this is an opt-in form for various parts of our website. Okay, so my spelling not very good there. So what we have here, this is the area where you can add your content. And as you can see, it's very similar to the normal WordPress editor that you get. You have a visual mode and a HTML mode. You have all the same things that you get in your tiny MCE on your page and your post editor, which is really cool. It means you can do a lot of things um, that you can add all over the place. So that's really good. Saves you a lot of time. So what we're going to do and what I've done here is I've prepared earlier a gravity form. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste that in really just to to show you up front what a global content block is and how to insert it. So and then we'll come back and we'll tart it up a bit to make it look a bit better. So I'm going to save my global content block and now what I'm going to do is if we go back to the home page this is a post here it's displaying this post. What we're going to do is we're going to insert that form in this post here at the front of the website. So we know that form is in posts so let's go to all of our posts click on the hello world okay there's our post so what we're going to do is we're going to stick it after that line of text now here's our little icon in our tiny MCE for adding a global content block so we're going to click that icon here we get to set, select which global content block we want to add and we only have one so that makes it easy. Um, insert full content not the short code. What we want is the the short code. Actually the short code would be the way that you would use it most of the time. So we're going to insert our content block and that's basically it. So our content block is now visible. It's not going to look great because we haven't done a lot of styling. So let's just refresh our screen here. Okay, so as I said, the form is in there. doesn't look great. So we probably want to tart that up a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into settings. No, what we'll do, we'll do something else first just to um, to make it a bit interesting for you. What we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to go to another page. We're going to go to our full width content page 
and we have a lot of content on this page and what we're going to do is we're going to click down here about halfway down go back to this icon and we're going to click our opt-in form and insert our content block there so now we have it in two places so we'll just have a look at that if we go to our full width content page here and scroll down and there's our form once again doesn't look too fantastic so what we'll do is we'll add a bit of styling so you can see that our form is there and it's on our home page now we could have this on in 10 or 20 places around our website and if we wanted to make a change to add some content um, or to um, to style the form a little bit more all we have to do is come back to the global content block I have already prepared some styling um, if you're not familiar with this sort of thing it's something that perhaps you would have to get your web developer to do for you is is creating styling we'll first take it to the HTML one make it work much better and but really this is not to do with global content blocks it's just to show you the sort of things we can do um, with a global content block so I've now saved that what we're going to do is to go back to our full width content and we're going to refresh our page okay so you can see our styling there it's okay it's not quite good enough because we probably need a little bit of padding underneath so let's go back and perhaps just put some text this isn't really the way I would do it um, normally because I would do it with the style but just to show you here I'm going to just add that in and we're going to save our global content block go back to our page okay there's a bit of gap underneath so you can see our form there now if we go to our home page there's the same form so you can see it's a little bit narrower that's because in my styling I have used a percentage width rather than a fixed width so it'll um, locate itself all around the pay all around the site and will um, change its dimensions so if I go back here's the hello world post that we have here you can see that it's on the hello world post it's on the home page and it is on the full width content page now okay this is not a fantastic example of what you might do but it is a good example of what you might do in terms of if you have created some content that you want to put in various places around your site and an opt-in box would be one of those things that you would do and you want to be able to add that content really really quickly you only have to create that content the once and then you can very quickly add that content to various locations around your site um, that's also a good thing if you have people helping you with the, with your site and they might not be up to your skill level you can create the global content blocks for them and show them how to insert those global content blocks or even even better if you have a, a captive web developer um, you could get the captive web developer to create those global content blocks for you or, and then you could add those in around your site yourself without having to pay more money so global content blocks a very very quick way to add repetitive content in various areas around your site and a great way to add stuff to your site that will help you get more people to see the sort of information you want them to see and um, subscribe or, or contact you or call you or any of those sort of things those actions that we want people to take when they come to our website this is Kirk O'Connor I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial and you should catch some of our other WordPress tutorials to help you use your website and to get some results from your website.